Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the CPO timer kit. Okay, first things you need to know, power cord plugs in on the side. There's also an on and off switch right here. Okay, you know it's on when it says CPO and lights are on. It has a couple different modes. We're going to be focusing on the interval mode. Okay, stopwatch mode is also pretty simple. You just press a button to start it. It'll start timing. You press the button to stop it. Start it again, stop it, reset back to zero. That's how you use the stopwatch mode. In interval mode, you use these. These are the photo gates. How they work is through this little slip on the side, there is a light beam that passes through. Okay? It can tell whenever that light beam is blocked. So let's go ahead and get those plugged in. We typically use a red for one and blue for two. That's just how it goes, or blue for B. So they plug in back here. Okay. And now we have the photo gates on. This one is photo gate A, and this one is photo gate B. Move them to the other side so you guys can see them. Okay. We'll start with just A. Okay. When just the A light is on, okay, so the light right here is on and it's in interval mode, the timer is started anytime something, such as your hand, blocks that light beam in between the photo gates. Okay. You can tell it's blocked because there is a red light right there. Green means it's become unblocked and it'll stop timing. Okay, so blocked, it times, unblocked, it stops. Okay, it's the same when just the B light is on, only with the other photo gate that's plugged into the B port. Blocking the light beam on that photo gate stops it, unblocking it stops it. When just the B light is on, however, A is not active, it's not really doing anything. Now when both the A and B lights are on, okay, A will start the timer and B will stop it. So say I have a ball rolling down a ramp, it rolls through A, it starts timing, it rolls through B, it stops, okay? And it'll reset automatically. So say I have a new ball rolling, it rolls through A, it takes a little bit longer, and then it rolls through B, okay? Another cool thing about these photo gates is even if all of the lights are off, so right now neither of these lights are illuminated, and I have a ball and it rolls, it still makes all three measurements. There's A. That is the time that the light beam in photo gate A was blocked for. When the, the B light is on, that is the time the light beam in photo gate B was blocked. Okay, that's 0 .0403 seconds, so 40 milliseconds, a very small amount of time where time AB is the time in between the photo gates, okay? It is the time that it took to get from photo gate A to photo gate B. And that's the cool thing, that it still makes all three measurements, even when the lights are off. So you can collect a lot of data in one go, okay? And that's the CPO photo gates.